Indonesia, which means different but still one. Indonesia is a beautiful country because of its diversity. Diversity of ethnicities, cultures, languages, races, opinions, and religions. Differences are unique. Differences are great. We should be thankful because all of them makes Indonesia a unique and tough country. I believe in the philosophy of unity in diversity. I believe that our differences can make us stronger. I believe that with differences, we will grow and be able to compete at the international level. Don't be afraid to unite, but don't unite because you are afraid. I truly wish that our differences can bring a good impact to the prosperity of this nation. I truly wish that all of us can live happily aside from our differences. I truly wish that our differences can make us more tolerant and respect each other. This is easy to say, but hard to do. From the smallest contribution you do, great impacts will soar high throughout the sky all over Indonesia. As the young generation, we have an obligation to create a united Indonesia. Let's learn to understand each other, to fulfill the obligations to create unity. We are very diverse. We are always united. We become one Indonesia. in store. The sky, the clouds, the sun. But as usual, the streets were empty as we had to stay in our homes by force. COVID still roams the streets as I speak. The country, the continent, the world is in a pretty bad condition, and it seems to get even worse. Every day I wonder, what if this never happened? What if COVID-19 never existed? Would we all be doing the same activities daily? As time passes by, I keep asking myself, why? And every night I sleep, I question myself about things that are quite deep. Why did this happen? Did I choose the right path? Were we responsible for this pandemic? All of this began in Indonesia in May of 2020. We were told of a new virus that was sweeping the globe. COVID-19 is what they call the virus. Many people lost their lives, lives that they worked hard for. People began to lose faith. Even if it appeared like all hope was lost, there was still a chance to avoid getting infected by the virus. It is accomplished by following the safety protocol. Stay at home, wear a mask, wash your hands with soap, keep a safe distance and stay away from crowds. You can avoid getting COVID and contribute to the end of the pandemic by doing all these things. Although the days of this pandemic feel so long, although we lost our loved ones, together as Indonesia, we can still stand strong. We must fight this virus. We must end this pandemic. We will overcome this and one day freedom will arise. From peace to chaos and from chaos to peace. to present my English speech about COVID-19. One more day I stay at home without certainty about what's going to happen tomorrow. One more time I'm just staring at my friends and teachers from my iPad. One more mom has just passed by leaving my whole life at home only. Just like a bling of an eye, my life suddenly changed because of this COVID-19 pandemic. Just like a bomb that exploded, this pandemic somehow spread all over the world. Just like a lightning that struck suddenly, everything that before I thought was a normal, and sometimes boring daily routine 
Now it's just like a dream. Without notice, without knowing, and without certainty. We've been locked down because of this pandemic for quite a while. It's getting hard to raise our smile. It's getting hard to see each other. Doctors, nurses, and all health workers are standing on the front lines. Scientists all over the world are racing with time to find a cure. Life now is like having a battle in a war with an unseen enemy outside our door. A foe wants to attack us all and one by everyone begins to fall. Fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering. There's an army who's fighting strong, their course is true and never wrong. Even though they felt tired, they still continue to use their weapons, care and skill, risking their own peace. Months after months in the hospital, away from their close ones. They live a life captivated, working for others to survive. This unsung hero who deserves our praise. No medals, no trophies, and no applause. Just heartfelt thank you are their rewards. Let's help them by staying at home, wearing masks, washing hands, staying away from crowds, and keeping our distance. Drinking vitamins, eating healthy foods, getting vaccines are a way to protect ourselves. As not what others can do, as what you can do to others. Let's do this so we can stop saying goodbye to each other and start to say hello to each other. Thank you for listening. will fight and hate each other. 
We have been freed from colonialism for 76 years. For 76 years, we should have understood each other. We have to collaborate and work together to build our country. And the first thing we need to do is to unite. So come on, polite children of Indonesia. So come on, the mighty youth of my country. So come on, the tight older generations of the red and white. Let's build this wonderful country and build a bright future for all to delight.